and okay it is recording so we are good to go and let me give us a quick little thing um let's see hi I'm Dave Stokes from Bercona. I'm a community team member. And today we're talking to Gany Patlan, who has been doing some very interesting stuff um, with building the community in his area. Yevgeny, take it away. Uh, yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Dave. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bercona uh, helps uh, local communities to grow up. And in local city, we have some small Chernivati cluster. Uh, the idea of this cluster is to grow community in, in our area and to help students with their education. And with IT cluster, we, we are doing a lot of uh, interesting things for community and for students. Uh, I can talk a lot about our activities. Just for example, uh, every month we have a community day. And for such events, uh, we select uh, hot topics and find speakers uh, that can share their experience uh, and their knowledge with this community. And what I can say, uh, from month to month, uh, the community grows. Uh, because uh, not uh, on the companies that joined IT cluster participate in this, but, but anybody in our uh, local community can make a talk and come and listen to get new knowledge. Uh, frankly speaking, uh, almost every month I'm talking <laughs> on such events <laughs> because I really like what I'm doing and uh, I'm I like sharing my experience. Cool. Um, how big did you start? Did you have just two or three people or a bigger group, and how did you promote it? Uh, well, Chernyev uh, IT cluster is, is uh, qu uh, quite big uh, organization. Uh, we uh, only companies can join IT cluster. Uh, currently, there are eight companies who joined, uh, and uh, all of us uh, try to bring some value for cluster, for community, and for students. Our goals, uh, as I mentioned, grow community, uh, help students, and uh, to help uh, growing uh, for our city, uh, because everything what we are doing. Uh, just for our city, our area, uh, to make it uh, better for end of life, uh, for day-to-day uh, -day life, and to engage uh, other IT companies to come to our region. Uh, so uh, we have a core group, uh, and we decide what we are doing next. Uh, for example, uh, this year we already uh, made some kind of uh, challenge for students in cybersecurity. So they divided into different teams, uh, got a task to find as much CV issues as they can on the system that we prepared. We spent almost a week preparing this system. And it was uh, fun uh, to see how students uh, do this. I was really impressed. Uh, because uh, students were from uh, first year till uh, five year, so all all kind of students, and almost all of them came uh, to this event with Slackware uh, and tried to define what uh, where there are these issues. So it was fun. Uh, also, we create uh, have uh, our regular event. We call it Prosvita, uh, some kind of education. And we are doing it only for students and for switchers, because everybody can join community and try uh, himself in IT sphere. And during this event, uh, it took us all week, uh, almost four uh, talks every day. So uh, you can see uh, 20 talks. And from Percona, uh, there were uh, four or five speakers, I don't remember. So uh, Perkona really did a great job supporting our <laughs> local community. Yeah, uh, for example, uh, Agia from uh, Turkey and Jan from Poland joined and made the talks. So it was great event. Uh, 
as such, Prosvita events, we just try to help students to understand the sphere, uh, how should they, uh, should they uh, act, uh, how uh, should they uh, write the CVs, the easiest one, how to write your CV, students that don't know this. And uh, we help them. Uh, and, uh, you know, at university, uh, you get academic knowledge, but not the modern ones. And the goal of IT cluster to give students the modern knowledge, the new techniques, uh, the trends, I would say. And with Percona, we bring open source to them. Cool. Um, I know this has big benefits for the students, but the, are the teachers benefiting? Are they seeing the gap between what they're teaching and what's being used out in industry? Uh, well, uh, I would say that it's a kind of volunteering job. <laughs> so if you like doing talks as me, do, so you're doing it. Uh, otherwise, we just find volunteers to make a talk. But I would say uh, we get uh, very interesting speakers. Uh, for example, uh, we uh, partnered with some uh, organization and organized at the end of July uh, a very interesting event about med uh, media literacy and cybersecurity. So we help everybody uh, to increase their knowledge in this. And, you know, uh, here in Ukraine, media literacy is very important. And so that's why we decided that it should be beneficial for everybody. Uh, we found uh, partners uh, who can help. And at the end of this event, we had a cybersecurity panel discussion uh, where we invited the representatives of government of uh, cyber police. Uh, uh, there were representatives from a uh, university and uh, we were able to discuss and we try to uh, help uh, people to understand how it's important uh, to think about uh, your security, your private data, uh, and uh, how they are vulnerable. Everybody is vulnerable in internet and we help them. Uh, currently, we want to uh, participate in a grant program uh, from uh, European Union about uh, cybersecurity. So uh, Journey FIT uh, Classa uh, will, uh, together with uh, university, want to send a program to uh, to this grant program and we will try to win. And it will also uh, help us to make more such programs in cybersecurity. Uh, one of our ideas uh, for now is to prepare, uh, a, I would say, cheat sheet, uh, what people should think about it. And, you know, uh, in our city, it's very popular to uh, put magazines uh, in some cafe, restaurants, uh, with some interesting information. And we want to pr bring this cheat sheet into such magazines. In this way, we will try to increase uh, knowledge of people. Very cool. Uh, if someone wanted to duplicate what you're doing, how would you recommend they start off? So, like, if I had a group of five folks that I knew... Uh, professionally who wanted to do this sort of thing um do you need a big meeting space do you need a big budget how how do you get this started uh well uh, surely you would need a budget uh every company who joined cluster uh pays some small fee for this it's not very huge well we use it for uh organizing events to buy us uh, some swag uh, for participants uh, for uh, advertising our events because everything else is volunteering activities. But yeah, uh, if you organize a big conference, you need more money, but you can find sponsors. So uh, surely you need a budget. Uh, then you need to have an idea because idea is the main uh, topic. If you want to start something, you need to understand what you will do and how. Uh, so I would say that uh, when cluster was organized, uh, it was maybe in 2018. At the time, Percona wasn't in this cluster, and uh, there were some 
situations uh, where I wasn't happy. So I wasn't in class. So they organized a conference at the same time uh, at as at Kiev. Uh, we and Kiev community organized uh, the oldest open source conference uh, conference in Ukraine and uh, on uh, all post Soviet Union area. So uh, it was something like seventeenth. Uh, uh, conference in a row and at that time we even invited Leonard Pottering to it uh, but Chunyev IT organized conference in Chunyev just at the same day but they were informed and what, what we did we argued a lot about it but then uh, my idea was if you want to improve something you need to join uh, I went to our community team and ask if, if Perkona can join IT cluster so we can improve it. Uh, we can uh, better collaborate with other communities. And what I can say uh, here in Ukraine, uh, our I, local IT clusters, we have them almost in all regions. Uh, they work together. They work together with government. And government uh, tries to help clusters uh, to grow and uh, they provide us with abilities to do it. Uh, for example, uh, our Minister of uh, Digi Digitalization uh, has uh, meetings with representatives on clusters and clusters can help all IT in country grow to grow. And it's awesome. Cool. Now, if someone wants to present at your conference, um, um, what do they need to do? Do they just say, hey, I have an idea about speaking about uh, OSPF or something like that and just contact the organizers or? Uh, yeah, sure. We have a YouTube channel. Uh, we have uh, email on our website. We even have a chatbot in Telegram. So uh, there you can uh, contact us and write your ideas. And, you know, we will be happy to assist to make a talk uh to promote because uh everything what what we do uh is just to help community to grow and how, how uh, it can be done otherwise if uh there won't be any volunteers who want to share their knowledge okay and what is that website once again so we can make sure it gets promoted <laughs> uh ch chernihiv.it okay Perfect. Um, and if someone wants to sponsor and has that checkbook ready to go, same same web address. Cool. Um, sounds very interesting, very positive. Um, and I wish you all the best in the future. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add for that I didn't cover that we can we can help promote this this group with? Well, just participate in our events. Yeah, you can view uh, our talks uh, even online on YouTube and uh, join our community. Cool. Well, thank you very, very much. Um, it's very interesting to see what other groups do around the world. Uh, for instance, where I live in Texas, if you can get a room, an a, a IP uh, address to get out to the internet and pizza, you can have a show. It doesn't have to be big or you can do something much more organized like Evgeny's doing. And with that, thank you, Evgeny, and uh, we'll see you in the future. Thank you, David. See you. See you. Bye. Bye. Let me...